That escalated quickly. Welcome back. It is Dork and Sink, and it's time for us to take our look at Empire, the Eastern Sun's headquarters, leaders, and special characters. The Shogun is your absolute end-all beat stick melee character. Coming in with a quality of 2 and a defense of 3, he is hard to take down, he is easy to rely on. He's coming in with a toughness of 6, so he's an especially powerful hero. Predator allows him to add an additional attack with his weapons whenever he rolls a 6 when attacking. And Combat Master makes it so that at any combat when in melee, he rolls a dice. On a 1 or 2 or 3, he gets rending. On a 4 or 6, he gets an additional AP. Now that combined with his melee weapon, The End, will absolutely make short work of most enemies in close combat. He gets two attacks with two AP and a deadly of three. So he'll get that with either rending or an AP of three instead of the AP of two. He's very clearly and very intentionally designed to be a character hunter, a beast hunter, or a vehicle hunter so that he can go in there and make the absolute most of the deadly rule in his combinations. For ranged attack, he does have the Demon Mask Flame which is essentially a flamer. It's a six inch range with two attacks with reliable, meaning he will always hit on a two up with it, and blast three, acting as kind of a standard short ranged flamethrower. Now, after all that, the only upgrades he can take are the dragon and the eternal spirit dragon. Now, he starts out at 190 points and to upgrade him with the dragon increases him another 175 points taking him up to a monstrous 365 total for the spirit or for the regular dragon and an insane 805 for the spirit dragon but what do you get with all that so if you take the dragon you will have fast so another two inch to move another four inch to charge the breath attack but importantly you'll have flying fear one and you will have some heavy claw extra attacks adding mobility to this absolute unit adding a little more toughness to this unit cannot be understated for how dangerous it is and if you're going to go all in with the spirit dragon you're going to get even more stomps flying very fast so now he's even faster a huge bump in toughness his breath attack again his fear but at a plus two and now he also gets heavy claws with multiple attacks this means that there is no corner of this board that will be safe from this shogun's unending and unstoppable wrath Next up, we have the Old Master. Now, he comes with a quality of 2-up and a defense of 4-up. He is a level 4 caster, making him a true might on magic. He's obviously a hero. He has regeneration. He does have slow and tough of 6. He fights with a Kanado with a, two attacks that has the shock rules. Rules of 6s are multiplied by 3. Only the original 6 counts. He has the ability to use Word of Pain which is a one attack, but an AP of three and has cursed ammo, ignoring negative modifiers to hit and range. He has full access to the spells available to all of the Empire of the Eastern Sun. And he comes with a couple of optional upgrades. First, he can get one, one or both of the Mystic Fire, which is a nine inch, three attack, reliable AP one, ignores cover, or the Mystic Bolt, 18 inch, attack two, cursed ammo, AP two. Now, it's important to remember that these are optional and you can take both, but if you take both of them, you can only use one of them in turn as they do count as weapons. He can also be upgraded with the Ancient Tortoise, which gives him thick skin, reducing the AP of one to things that attack him. His AP goes up by one when shooting. He has the Lady's Blessing, which gives him regeneration. He's swift, which ignores the slow rule, and his defense becomes plus one. Keep in mind that with Lady's Blessing, it also gives regeneration to a unit he's attached to. And the Ancient Tortoise does not increase his toughness, meaning he can still join a unit. Next up for our major heroes, we have the infamous Soul Reaper Queen. 
coming in with a quality of two up and a defense of three up. She is a tough nut to crack. She has her six toughness. Hero is a third level caster, is unique because only one can be in an army. Has black heart, which allows her and a unit that she rolls with to ignore a wound on a six up, unless it was from a spell, and then it is ignored on a two up. She also has Spell Master, allowing her to count as having a caster of six, but taking three wounds should she fail to cast a spell. She comes equipped with the standard Katana, reliable, with two attacks and an AP of one, and the unique Serpent Tail Strike, which only has three basic attacks and no additional effects. She, of course, has full access to the spell list, and she has a few upgrade options. She can get Dance of the Damned, which works like pheromones, allowing her once her activation before attacking to pick another unit within 12 and move them up to six inches. She also has Raise Dead, allowing her to summon 10 stitch zombies within six inches of her once per game. She has access to Mystic Fire and Mystic Bolt, same as many others, but has the unique ability to take Poison Mist, which does not count as an actual attack, but allows her to roll dice and on a four up at two enemy units within six inches, take one hit with Blast Six and Poison. This is her most points efficient attack for ranged, but most of her ranged combat will absolutely be within her spells and her manipulation of the battlefield. Her role is buffing, debuffing, summoning, and whatever else it is that you need done by a heavy-handed caster. Next, we have the Humble Elite Samurai. Coming in with a quality of three and a defense of three, this hero acts as your second level samurai underneath the Shogun, but above your average, bringing with them Fearless, Toughness of three, the Imbued Katana, so two attacks, two AP with Reliable, Advanced Tactics, Allowing once before activation to pick another unit within 12 and move them by 6, and coming with a longbow standard. You can upgrade your elite samurai to have a Fu Lion mount, which allows them to have a defense of plus 2, bringing their defense up to a 2 plus, keeping in mind that a 1 always fails, but this does help mitigate anything that may be reducing your defense further. The Fu Lion comes with a heavy spear attack of AP 1 with counter and 2 attacks as well as Fast for an additional two move and four run, Strider to ignore difficult terrain while moving, an impact of one and increases the toughness by three, taking your toughness through hero up to a toughness of six. The Samurai can also join one of three dynasties with the Death Dynasty, allowing them to get Reap and Melee, the Shadow Dynasty, allowing them to have the Ambush special rule, or the Dragon Dynasty, allowing them to have the Counter in combat for melee special rule. Next we have Uzume Umino. Wait. Ah, yep, that's better. Well, it's correct anyway. So Umino has a quality of three and a defense of five. She's a second level caster with hero spellier, which allows her to ignore a wound on a six unless it was from a spell, and then she can ignore it on a two. She comes with carnivorous fish spirits, which is two attacks and an AP of one in melee, her full array of spells from the list, and a quite a few different upgrade options. She has Dance of the Damned, which allows her to pick a unit and move them within 12 inches up to six inches once a turn, and Raise Dead, allowing her to bring forth a 10-man unit of stitched zombies. She has access to Poison Mist, Mystic Fire, and Mystic Bolt. She can be upgraded with the After Image technique, allowing her to gain the benefits of Dodge, so enemies get a minus one to hit her when she has this rule or all units in her model have this rule. The Shadow Walk, which allows her to have Stealth, so enemies get a minus one when shooting her from over nine inches away, and she can be upgraded with the Blade Dance. Enemies get a minus one to hit when melee attack. War Dance. When in melee, roll one die and apply the bonuses. One through three is an attack rending. Four through six is an attack with plus one AP. And seduce, once per activation before attacking, pick a model within 12. They take a morale test. If they fail it, you can move them six inches in any direction. This allows her to be a mid-level caster with a lot of unique abilities to move herself and move others. And some upgrade options to 
tune her out to fit in the different units that are available. Then we come to our final hero option, the Grave Dancer. This hero comes in with a quality of 3, a defense of 5, a caster 1, hero, and toughness 3. They do have Soul Warden, so once per activation, they pick a friendly caster within 6, and they get a plus 1 to the next casting roll. They are a caster 1 again. They have the sword weapon, which is just two attacks, access to the spells, and then a myriad of upgrade options. We have Dance of the Damned and Raise Dead, Poison Mist, Mystic Fire, and Mystic Bolt, After Image Technique, Shadow Walk, Blade Dance, War Dance, and Seduce. Much like her counterparts, but this is the budget option and the cheaper option if you are attempting to fill out a list to take the most advantage of casters in this army. And that does it. We finally made it to the end. That is all of the heroes that are currently available in the Empire of the Eastern Suns. Thank you for spending this time with us. Have a great day.